In today's video, we will get into the updated portfolio, what I'm in, what my plans are for the future of this portfolio, and how I plan to manage these trades as time goes on. I currently have six positions on right now. I've only closed two positions total in this first month of us getting into options. If you're new to the channel, my name is Errol Coleman. I am 22 years old. My main niche in the stock market is small cap stocks. I prefer to short sell them, but will also trade the momentum on the long side if the opportunity presents itself. I recently started getting into options with Tom of Tasty Trade and we are into the fourth week. So if you wanna see a real process of someone just getting into the options world, tastytrade.com on Mondays and Fridays at 12.30 Mountain Standard Time or 1.30 Central Time, or I believe that's 2.30 Eastern Time. Here are the positions that I am currently sitting in. I'm in Bitcoin, I'm in DM, I'm in PLTR, I'm in PayPal, I'm in Riot, and I am in Silver. And if you missed the last couple weeks or if you weren't able to tune in on Mondays and Fridays to tastytrade.com, we are on there live at 1230 Mountain Standard Time um, taking some of these positions. And there are a couple positions we've missed. I took a position on PayPal and I took a position earlier on Baidu. Those are the only two positions that I have closed. So you can see I have a bullish position right now on PayPal, but I actually was bearish on a position on PayPal just last week and I actually covered and then I flipped the position. Now I am bullish on PayPal and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. But again, those are the only two positions uh, that I have closed so far in this entire month of just getting into options. So now let's just pull up a chart um, on PayPal. Um, so here on PayPal, I am now bullish on PayPal, hoping um, for a bounce after such a, after such an aggressive sell-off. So one thing, especially now getting into options, I'm really liking uh, selling into strength and buying into weakness. So we're mainly just selling options here at Tasty Trade. We're selling calls, we're selling puts. So if we're bullish on a position, we'll sell calls. Or if we're bearish on a position, I'm sorry, we'll sell calls. But if we're bullish on a position, we'll sell a put spread. So up here on this really strong day that PayPal had, I had sold a call spread and with that following week we had an aggressive sell off so that was really nice and then after that an aggressive after that aggressive sell off i actually flipped my position to a bullish position where i'm now selling a put spread so if i'm buying a put that means i'm bearish on the position so if i'm selling a put that means i am bullish so that's exactly what i did here hoping for some type of bounce. I'm not looking for a massive bounce, but again, I'm looking for some type of bounce after such an aggressive sell-off, and I'm buying into the weakness, and I'm selling up here into the strength. So this week, just covered that position, took profit. That was off camera. I had actually just reached out to Tom, and I was letting him know that's, that's what I was doing. But I did leave the Baidu position on, and it was recorded live last Friday, um, and I did the same thing. I put, I sold a call spread, into this really strong day this day and the market just happened to sell off very strong um, and that trade happened to work out within, within just a few days and then again covered into the weakness but i didn't flip positions here i'm not going long now here i don't have a bullish position in baidu but i did sell a position out of paypal and baidu and paypal was about a 350 dollars profit and baidu was around a 150 160 170 area that was a profit on those two and you can already see those two profits um, are already helping recoup some of the losses on riot and i want to i want to pull up Riot how and how i was just saying how i'd rather sell into strength and buy into weakness um kind of same thing with riot so the, if, if i kind of understood you know what we were kind of doing maybe i would have sold a call spread and again it's easy to say after the fact but after such a strong move up, now I'm most likely not going to take such a bullish position up here. I'm probably going to take a bearish position. And we, I was kind of hoping for more of like consolidation, maybe a, a slow grind and hopefully a break of the highs into the next month with Bitcoin potentially taking the new high again. But we'll see. You can see right now we're bouncing and it's recouping a lot of the losses that was taken when the position was taken up here and the stock was pretty much cut straight in half. So um, that's really interesting. Again, learn from some of my mistakes, learn from some of the, the thought process behind some of the trades. Some maybe, okay, when I'm in this specific scenario, maybe I should maybe look to do this or maybe I should look to do that or whatever the case may be. 
but you can really learn from my mistakes, especially since I'm someone new getting into the options world. But I currently only have the six positions on right here. These are the current positions. These are all live. Um, the market is definitely rebounding a little bit, which helps a ton. Um, the market was pretty much again going up this entire year, just straight up. And right when we get into the options, we have to be a lot more strategic and a lot more thoughtful just because the market doesn't always just go straight up and we have to prepare for anything and we don't want to um, ignore risk or anything like that. So we're being more strategic. We're learning a lot. It's really interesting. We are also getting into futures as well. So Tom is pretty much getting us into literally everything. We're in cryptocurrency. We're in um, options, you know, we've traded stocks before. That's more basic kind of just coming in. And he's even getting us into futures. Uh, most people watching probably have never even traded a futures before. I've never traded futures before. Um, but something like the micro e mini NASDAQ right here, you can see up here is, is something more conducive for a small account. So I was originally looking at forward slash NQ and Tom was letting me know something like this is just too large to trade for the type of account that I have. And he was showing me if I want something similar, I can check out this, a forward slash MNQ. Um, you can see this is more conducive for a small account. So when we're taking futures positions, this is something we're keeping in mind um, uh, whenever we're just taking a position. I wasn't actually able to take the position, the position last Monday because uh, my account actually had to get approved for futures and all that kind of stuff. But it is now everything's good to go. Um, I was going to take a long position into this red day, and you can see it would have worked out pretty well for today. And again, shoulda, woulda, coulda, whatever. But um, again, that was the idea of kind of taking a bullish position into weakness and then, you know, maybe selling into strength. But those are the only positions I have on so far. Again, the only positions I closed was a bearish one on PayPal and Baidu. Those were covered the same week. I'm completely out of those. I'm still in Riot. We will see if Bitcoin can keep surging, if Riot can maybe push up more and just recoup as much of those losses as we can. But you can see the overall portfolio is recovering thanks to the bounce in the market. But again, the market could just sell off tomorrow. So this is just an update. This is nothing finalized. These gains are not realized. These are all unrealized gains. So just keep that in mind. But if you want to keep following the updated portfolio, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Like this video if you like these updates and if you learned something new, make sure you comment down below. And if you have any questions, let me know. I appreciate you tuning into the video. That's pretty much all I'm looking at. I kind of went over already what I was looking at on PayPal again. Hopefully we get a little bit of a bounce. Hopefully I'm not over here catching a falling knife or anything like that. But we will see what happens in the market this week. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.